this video is going to walk you through how to log in and to complete your assignments on Reading Eggs and Reading Express. We're going to start by accessing Reading Eggs and Reading Express through the Clever app. So once you're on your Clever screen, if you have Reading Eggs and, and Reading Express icon marked as one of your favorites, it will be located at the top under favorite resources. If you do not have it marked as a favorite, you will find it by scrolling all the way down to the bottom underneath more apps. And the Reading Eggs and the Reading Express icon is there as well. It'll just take a moment for it to load. On the screen, you're going to see Reading Eggs and Reading Express. If you're working in Reading Eggs, you would click Enter. Once the program loads, there are many different options that I'm sure the, familiar, the students are familiar with. But most of the time, the students um, are to work on their path, their independent path. And that's usually right here. This student has completed Reading Eggs, so she has moved on to Reading Express. But if you click on this in the center, this is your path, you will be working on the paths as you go through to continue the program. The back arrow will take you back to the previous map, things that you have already completed. The arrow on the right will forward you to the next map or where you currently are working. Once you complete Reading Eggs, you will then be asked to move on to Reading Express. If you're working on Reading Express, again, from the Clever portal, you click on Reading Eggs, Reading Express, it will bring you to this. You would click the Enter and it will bring you into this program as well. Now Reading Express is, looks similar, but it also is different from Reading Eggs. So once you go into Reading Express, you would click the icon where it says My Lessons because you need to continue through your lessons. One, once you are in this program, you will see that this student is working on lesson 14. Once the student finishes lesson 14, it will have these little sparkly stars to go on it that says that this person has passed this particular assessment and there will be another little stepping stone that they will be moving to and working towards. There is no forward button, as you notice, because she, the student, has not completed this map just yet. But on the left-hand side, she has an arrow. She can go back to a previous map that she had already completed okay. to go back to your home screen. You have a little home button up here that you can click and it will take you to where you need to be. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please reach out to your teacher.